Over here. Come on. Look how he's got. He's got a little limp in him. Yeah. yeah. Just doing one of his last things. Yeah. We're just, uh, we'll go oh, point the camera at him. He's coming around. Come on. He's going to come behind you. He's just assessing us, probably just checking us come out. On. There you go. We have an opinion. Hey, everyone. This is Sean, Moo, and Sav. And look what we got here. What do you want to call him? Um, I don't know. Ralph? Ralph. Hey, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> come on over, Ralph. Cool. What's Ralph? Well, everyone. Shall we? Welcome back to the video. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Special guest Ralph. Special <laughs> guest. <laughs> so today we're talking about the second, yeah, it's tied for second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and you guys are doing an amazing job with it. It's a one leg drill. And the one leg drill is absolutely fantastic for you to feel what it's like to unwind in the downswing. And so many of you don't have that feel. Hey, bye, Ralph. <laughs> See you later, Ralph. <laughs> so you've, you've been used to sliding on the back foot and staying on the back foot, and you just don't have the feel of what it's like to unwind around the, a very solid front leg. And so this video is all about that, getting the feel for that, and then you'll realize how centered it keeps you, just like the feet together drill, except an added power component. And boy, oh boy, is it really cool. Like I literally hit 1% longer on one leg average, which yeah. is really cool. Yeah. Like the last, um, I believe the last uh, video I did uh, in French on our French channel, I did on the one leg drill. Yeah. And uh, I had hit 314 yards on one leg. Right. And then right after that, 308 on two legs. <laughs> That's so strange. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss this one. This is really big. And uh, before we begin, of course, we would love for you to subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment down below. Give us a big old thumbs up. It really helps. Big old thumbs up. And make sure you hit the bell. Hit the bell for notification or else I'm going to sick moo after you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start off by doing a, a demonstration right-handed and then you'll see moo and Savannah come in and do it left-handed and you'll get a really nice view from behind and of course for our premium subscribers we have it down the line and we just did an amazing, uh, didn't it look good, Moo? Yeah, it did. We, we did an amazing drone scene. I mean, the, we are having raving results from our, our scenes from our, uh, our drone. And then, of course, when we're able to do it with, um, with our GoPro, we get some amazing scenes uh, in, in what it looks like with the club face coming into impact and leaving just after impact. Really cool stuff. So in order for you to be successful with this, when you get on one leg, you start with two legs, your normal stance, and then when you bring your trail foot back, notice how the center gravity moves inside the lead leg, and it's inside, you know, up against the lead leg here, and you realize how you have to be a little closer to the ball because your center gravity moves back. So now if I do a little perpetual motion back and through, notice now my low point is nicely in front of the ball because I'm leaning against that front foot. So catching ball first and then ground, you can see is absolutely natural with this. So I got my distance where I need to be and then I'll just scooch it in. There we go. And now if I do it in, in slow motion, so I gather, notice how my weight is still on the inside of that forward leg. See how that trail leg is still on the inside of the tiptoes? I didn't do this and apply pressure to that rear leg. I turned and I'm on the inside of that trail leg. Now I can come back, unwind through, Right now I'm set up for a little draw, so I'm starting at a little right of this line. And now I'm just gonna give it some nice momentum through there along the ground and to the right edge of that 
red uh, alignment rod. Here we go. <laughs> that feels so good. If we're going to do a draw, then we're playing the ball just a hair. See, if I play the ball too far forward and I got to go reach after it, I'm going to fall over. So you'll notice if the ball's too far forward in your stance, you, you won't be able to stay with it. So you have to keep it inside that front foot. Now we got a beautiful setup where I feel like when I swing through, I'm going to be able to stay right up inside that forward side. So here we go. So that's the draw, yeah. and then if we look at the fade, I'm playing the ball a hair more forward, and I want the momentum to naturally stay to the left of that building. So I'm using an intermediate point. I'm going to stay left of that spot right there. If I'm over here, I feel like I can't stay left of it, so watch how we use the alignment and how we're, we're bringing around the compression. Yeah. You see how I'm doing that move? Yeah. So right here, it feels like I'm far. I'm right. I'm almost there. There. Now it feels like I can stay left of the intermediate point. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just going to, I'm going to take the club back on that line. And look at that gorgeous fade, dude. The flight on that is amazing. And it just keeps hitting it flush. Stay left. Stay left. Oh, that's cool. That's a perfect fade there. Stay Start left. at the left edge of the building and fading right Stay to the left. middle of it. Very tight. Excellent. Nice. <laughs> it's showing right in the middle. So it is tracking, right? Yeah. It is tracking nicely. Yeah. It's just very, so, very sensitive on the lie. Um, um, we're very pleased about that because now when we get on the golf course, you know, every one that it's only, I think it's only missed one, but it, start, it, it picked up the direction, the initial direction that it was going to start on. So, Sav, you ready? Yeah. And you're going to hit a draw. Yeah. So we're going to start it to the right of, the, sorry, the left edge of that. So do you feel, now you brought the foot back. Don't you feel a little too far? Okay. There you go. Okay, so do a backswing and stop. Are you loading up the left side at all? No. Okay. So, there you go. Excellent. Great shot. Exactly. Nice. So you notice how the angle of attack yeah. is spot on, right? That's yeah. one of the things that Sav's really improved on this year. Now her angle of attack is consistently five degrees down. Yeah. It's over. I mean, remember how we struggled with that over the winter? Yeah. And now look at the divots you're taking out. I yeah. mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. So if you were to go from one leg back to two legs, what would that look like? So show me two legs you might be take you might be playing that a little too far back though okay good now go on one leg again feel like it's pulling you away from the ball yep. no 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 let the club move away exactly now come back to two back to one back to two there we go so that feel normal yeah. 
So now you're using your trail leg, your left leg, to hold you up against that right leg. So this is going to be for your low draws. All right. Man, did you hear that divot? Look at that. Yeah. I am the only one to do that normally. Not anymore. Oh my gosh. So you came right through there nicely. Look at that. So do you feel like your downswing, right? If, and if we, we look at that, I'm going to show you a little scene in slow motion there. You'll notice how after she plants her lead foot, the whole downswing revolves around that lead foot and it's a one leg swing. So it is a fabulous sensation getter for that. Now, the other thing that's going to be a huge bonus, which is not something you need, but it's something that Moo has been doing in spades. Come on yeah. over, bud. All right. So Moo has still been struggling this season mm -hmm. with the release. Why? Because get on the golf course, all this power, yeah. and you're going, oh my God, I got to keep it in play, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So you've been stick handling. Yeah, so it's, yeah. And so the last session we did, we really had a beautiful session on that release. Yeah. And we had realized that you were letting go of the club. Yeah. Right. So you, if, you'll see in some of our past videos there uh, on uh, check out stop letting go of your club, Sean Clement. That's yeah. a really important one. Yeah. Or stop destroying your golf glove, Sean yeah. Clement, because a lot of people who let go. It really makes a big rub spot. That's right. You didn't have that problem. No. But I, you could see that you were kind of letting go. Yeah. So show me a couple of practice swings on one leg. OK. And you're staying on the inside of it. That's yeah. it. And you feel, stop right there. Not letting go? Not letting go. Okay, stop. good. Yeah. Excellent. Bring that in. Okay. So there's the classic example of the ball too far forward. Okay. So I got to make the adjustments. Yeah. So bring, yeah. stay right there. Okay. Let's get you back here. Yeah. Do you feel now that the ball position's got to be a little further back? Yeah. 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 So that. stay right there. Yeah. Now do you feel like you can stay left of that intermediate point? Yeah. Okay. Just, yeah. So access. now the weight's going to stay in here. Yeah. And then that'll help you uh, brace that release. There it is, man. Look at that. So do a little perpetual motion. Very nice. Excellent. Now let it release to the left edge. Beauty. Little Look at that draw. It's like a one yard draw. Yeah. And it's so tight and it's, you know, it's yeah. got a very tight dispersion on it. Yeah. So and you can really see because your center is staying in place, yeah. you know, nothing improves consistency like staying centered. When you stay more centered, you get much better contact and you, you get much better direction because if the center moves, well, now you just put the ball forward in your stance. Yeah. So if the center doesn't move going back, we're good. And if it doesn't move coming forward, we're good. Yeah, awesome. Look at that. <laughs> beautiful um, solid strike you could put a blanket on those three shots that you hit yeah right you're, you're basically one that was 156 the previous yeah. one was 155 uh, yeah that's right it's consistent in that one. very very good yeah so now if we went to two feet okay and uh, i want you to feel what, exactly what we just did with sav okay go ahead and set up on two feet okay but just do the setup first okay i want you to feel now mm -hmm. You remember when we were getting you behind the ball? Yeah. Yeah. Now do you feel that when you, we got you more behind, yeah. this comes a little more inside? Yeah. Do you feel now that we're using this leg mm -hmm. to hold you up against the lead leg? Yeah. And does it feel like it's forcing you more to the left? Yeah, I have better access to the Beautiful. Left so now just let it release to the left in that direction. Okay. It'll feel like a one leg swing. Yep. Okay. 
Look at that. So the center just did move a little bit more. Yeah. So now it drew a, just a little past the building, but it's still on the green. Yeah. And we just added 10 yards. Ooh, uh, so let's go back on one leg. Okay. Amazing, huh? Right back in the middle of the building. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that something? Yeah, that's very strange. <laughs> that's why this drill is awesome, you guys. <laughs> All right. Now, we hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. Yeah. And uh, Sav, fantastic job once again with yours. And we'll see you guys next week. All the best. Yeah.